Hello and welcome. My name is Joshua Wright, and in this video, we're going to look at easy iOS packet capture with RVI CTL. RVI CTL is an Apple utility. It stands for Remote Virtual Interface Control. It allows me to connect an iOS device to a Mac and be able to create a remote virtual interface on my Mac so I can use local OS X tools to be able to capture all of the network traffic entering and leaving the attached iOS device. Now we're going to look at the four steps to be able to use RVI CTL in this video. Step number one installing Xcode. Step number two, retrieve the UDID of the iOS device with iTunes. Step number three, create a remote virtual interface. And step number four, capture the network traffic. So the first step is to be able to install the RVI CTL and RVI CTL is bundled with the Xcode tool. So we need to install Xcode and we'll do that from the uh, Apple App Store. If we go to the Apple App Store in the top charts section, if we go to top free, Xcode is usually listed here in the top 10. Now Xcode is a pretty hefty download. It's about two and a half gigabytes in size, which seems like a lot for one small command line utility. However, if you're doing a lot of security analysis, having the Xcode tools will help you in other ways as well. You'll be able to get documentation and be able to look at developer library information that comes with Xcode. You'll also be able to experiment with source code. Even if you're not a developer, looking at some source code, being able to make recommendations to developers is a very helpful thing and taking screenshots of Xcode in some of your pen testing reports also helps provide valuable information for developers as well. So although Xcode is quite a big install, it's definitely worthwhile if you're doing a lot of iOS security analysis. So go ahead and from the App Store application, install Xcode. And once Xcode is installed, connect your iOS device to your Mac over USB and you're going to run iTunes. When you run iTunes and you click on the connected iOS device, in this case I have an iPad mini, you'll see this familiar iPad screen that talks about the capacity, the serial number, and the version of iOS on the device. And the iTunes application here, the serial number is actually a clickable field. So if we click on that, we'll get the UDID information for the device. The RVI CTL utility needs the UDID of the iOS device to be able to create that remote virtual interface for packet capture. So we start iTunes, we click on that serial number field to see the UDID, right click and say copy. Now with a copy into the clipboard, I'm gonna to switch to my terminal. In my terminal, I want to make sure I've got RVI CTL installed on the system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run RVI CTL S and I'm going to paste in the UDID information. When I do that, it creates a remote virtual interface zero or RVI one for the second UDID you specify. And that number will increase for every device that you're connecting. And I can treat this like any other interface with a packet capture tool. So now that I've got RVI0 created, I can run my TCP dump utility. And I'm going to save the traffic to a file called ios-traffic.pcap. Now in this scenario, I've specified dash N to turn off name resolution, dash I RVI0 to sniff on that virtual interface, dash S0 to capture the whole packet, and dash W, and then the file name to specify where I want the packet capture traffic to go. Now on my iOS device, I can run any application, I can generate any traffic, and I can use the device as normal. The iOS device is still connecting over its Wi-Fi interface, but a duplicate copy of all the traffic is being sent to this RVI0 interface. After I've generated some traffic, I can hit Control C, and I'll see how many packets were captured by the TCP dump utility, 1143 packets received, 1139 captured, and I can then evaluate that traffic using TCP dump again, or I can use tools like Wireshark to be able to evaluate the data. When I open up the packet capture in Wireshark, it'll give me this error message. The capture file appears to have been cut short in the middle of the packet. That's okay to ignore. It only affects the very ending of the packet capture. You don't actually lose any data. I can click OK. But even right from here, we can quickly start to see some 
unencrypted traffic going over the network, and we can start to evaluate what's going on inside the applications that we're looking at. Having RVICTL as an option to be able to create packet captures is a really convenient and great tool to have in your bag of tricks. It makes this packet capture process very simple. We get a very reliable packet capture source. We don't need a jailbroken device. We don't need any other special network configuration. All we need is this powerful RVICTL utility that comes with Xcode and iTunes. Thanks for watching, and until next time.